Hi, my name is Cami Kotler and I played Elizabeth on the Waltons and uh, we're going to be making a little video talking about The Foundling, which was the first episode of the Waltons TV series ever aired. And now we cut to the doctor's office. The doctor's office was usually also located on stage 26 in my memory, which is funny because stage 26 had the bedroom sets, the kitchen and the living room, uh, the Godsey store, and then the Baldwin house, and then tucked on the other side of the Baldwin house was a space that was usually used for the shed, as the shed turned into John Boy's print print um, studio and then into Ben and Cindy's little honeymoon cottage. Um, but my memory of, of filming in the doctor's office, it was always on stage 26. I'm not quite sure where they put it. Uh, we had a stage 20 where we shot everything else. Well, These are really fun to sets to be on, here. right? Because there's so many interesting things. And again, when we're not actively Actual filming in it, um, it's open to play on as long as you don't break anything, it. right? And as a little kid, you would go into the doctor set and you would play like you were a doctor, right? Finger spelling. So we knew that we'd have to learn to finger spell. And they knew that Elizabeth had finger spelling to do and so did so did Holly or Erica. So they practiced with us. I forget who taught me to finger spell, but I know I was practicing finger spelling and I had a little pamphlet like the one the doctor's handing to John and Livia which showed which letter went with which hand movement uh, and I would practice on, it um, I until I felt relatively books. comfortable and it stuck. I still remember all of it. And some of it was hard, right? Like when you're a little kid, some of these, some of these signs are difficult to make. Um, but I was very proud of knowing how to do it. I thought it was very cool. Okay, so now we're on the exterior set of the of the um, school. This was filmed um, in Midwestern Street, which is right in the middle of uh, well, uh, Warner Brothers Studio or the Burbank Studios, as it was called when we were filming this. Um, there's a church set on a Midwestern Street with a little gazebo in the middle. Um, and in fact, the earlier scene of Jefferson County's courthouse, where the sheriff was, that's on the other side of that square. There's a building there that's made of brick, or pretend brick, not sure. Um, and they use it for all those kinds of um, government buildings. Uh, so here we have the shot at the school. What I can remember about the school is this. Um, that dirt was all trucked in. Uh, the set on its own has a curb as do all of those um, sets on, on Midwestern Street. They're all curbed. So they just basically would truck in earth and pour it all around so that it looked like it was all dirt roads there. Um, the drinking fountain was, I don't think, ever used again. So again, a very typical thing. A scene might call for a drinking fountain. They just go to a prop house, find a drinking fountain, and just plop it down. And then the next episode that we might film at the school, that drinking fountain might disappear. And fans will often comment, like, wait a minute, what happened to that thing that was featured? It was just never, ever seemed important to, to pay attention to that kind of continuity from episode to episode. So we're going to close in on John Boy and Marsha Woolery, played by Tammy Beulah. Well, that's as far as I've like it? He's writing her poetry. I love this scene. I plan to write at least 12 stanzas of it. I love how earnest Richard is as John Boy and how completely disinterested and bored um, Marsha Woolery is. He's in love with her and she's just not even kind of in the same world as him. With certain feelings. She does you such a good job. John Boy? Such props to Tammy Beulah. Okay, we're back in the front house. So if we stop at the um, 
at the clothesline. Behind the clothesline, you can see like the a hill sort of rises up. There's oleander behind it, typical Southern California shrub, not so much a Virginia shrub. And if you keep going up and back, just over that rise is a fence and then a suburban neighborhood. Um, the Burbank Studios was right in the middle of the suburbs, so there are houses and things just on the other side of the rise. So that's why we never really go that way, because we're at the edge of the set. Oh, here I come. I'm barefoot. So is Erica. Okay. We were barefoot for most of the first season. Um, I was not used to being barefoot, and if you watch footage of Elizabeth walking, you might notice that she's really a tender-footed city girl. Also, sets were not very mindful places for barefoot children. There's a lot of construction that goes on on a TV set. Um, they're putting up walls, they're tearing things down, they're nailing things together. So nails and razor blades were not uncommon um, around a, a TV, an active TV set. So after a while, um, the mother's on the set, so Judy's mom, Eric's mom, Mary's mom. I think by now John Walmsley might be an adult, so his mom's not there. Went and complained to the producers that it just wasn't safe for us to be running around without shoes all the time. And I've got a doll. Again, a doll that was in this episode, and I don't think was in any other episode. Something now we're over at the sawmill again, and in comes Pat with his fabulous black car. You can see it moving a little bit as he parks it. So seen like this, we would all have marks on the ground, little wooden tees that they'd put down to help us stand where we were supposed to stand. Boys. So when we approached the sheriff in this scene too, right? See how he goes through us? We're all standing on marks where we're supposed to be. Look what a good job Erica does at seeming pathetic and not wanting to go with Sheriff Bridges. Look at how reproachful we are looking at our father, acting up a storm. Look at what I'm going to do. I'm looking for my mark. See me? Oh, oh, there it is. I found it. But David oh, must have missed his because you can't see me. Keep little girl. So I'm hidden. Oh, there we go. But I do a hug so I come back into lens. I'm probably still checking my mark. See how I look down? I bet that's what's happening. Thanks for watching this part of uh, Cammy narrates the foundling. Uh, if you want to know when the next part is uploaded, go ahead and click on the little bell and that will make sure that YouTube notifies you when we've uploaded the next part. Hope you enjoyed it.